What's going on guys, it's me, Dreamliner Fan 2016 here, and today, we have another model plane comparison video for you guys. I know it has been a while since I last done a model plane comparison, but I do want to compare these two models because these models came from two different manufacturers, but they are the same aircraft. So, today I'll be comparing the Panda models JetBlue Airbus A321neo in the streamer's tail, as well as the NG models version from the February 2023 releases. Super excited for this comparison, I know this is going to be a very interesting video and yes like I said I know it's been a while but hopefully I remember on how I can like do these comparison videos. So yeah so without further ado let's get started. So of course what I do want to start off first is the box. So let's get started with the box comparison first. Alright so comparing the two boxes you can see there's a quite a bit of a difference right here. So let's start off with the Panda Fox, not Panda Fox, the Panda Malls box first. So you got the Airbus A321 Neo tiles right there, you also got the Airbus logo, you got the CGI image of the aircraft. I do like on how like the streamers are represented in this box right here. You also got the JetBlue tiles right there. The aircraft registration is November 4022 Juliet, and you see the 1400 scale tiles right there. And yeah, very nice box from PandaFox, and I think they did a good job on it. Look at the size, you also got the aircraft sticker right there. You got the Airbus A321 Neo tiles right there. Same for most of the sides. And here's the back. And yeah, you got your warning hazards right there, made in China, right there. And yeah, pretty much it's a is like the same, and I'm thinking this is the item number, which is 202135. So that is the Panda Fox box. Now for the engine models. So as you can see by the engine models, let me set her up front. You got the Airbus A321 Neo tile, excuse me, similar to like the Panda Panda box. You also got the CGI image of the aircraft. The streamer's tail are, is like, the art of the streamer's tail is a lot darker, which I think it's more like, realistic like that it's kind of more accurate he also got two jet blue tiles right there he also got the mint logo and well peterson and of course the registration of the aircraft is the same as the panda box he also got the jet blue tiles edgy miles logo one for unscale collectible malls diecast metal so there's a bit of a difference in the box art so i got this in airliners 2023 so this is 48.99 or 95 he also got the jet blue tiles right there pretty much the same size as what the panda box has you also got the NG logo, warning hazards, and their social media pages right there. So this is different. So NG has their social media pages right there. And the item number, like, excuse me, the item number is 13062. So yeah, those are the two box arts. Overall, I think both box arts is good, but I think the NG has like more details. Of course, you got, well, Joel Peterson right there and the Mint logo. While in the Panda box, you don't really see as much but yeah, other than that, both box styles are good, and yeah, they both look nice, and I think Panda and NG did a nice job on that. Let's move on to comparing the models itself, so let's get started with the comparison. And here are the two JetBlue Airbus A321neos in the streamer's tail, both by Panda models and NG models. So you got the Panda models on your left right there, and the NG on your right. So let's get started with the comparison. So let's get started with the front section. So as I move it closer, you can see, I think the Panda version sits a bit slightly higher while the NG is a lot lower. I'm not sure which one's more accurate, but I'm assuming the NG is like more accurate since I think the nose land gear height is accurate to the real life aircraft. The printing is very good, you got the cockpit when it's right there, you also got the outline on the radome for NG, while on the Panda you don't see really it, you don't see the outline that much. The details of the, like the Joel, Joel Peterson tiles are pretty good, as well as the mid logos. You got the L1 boring doors right there. I think the L1 boring door on the Panda sits just a bit higher than the NG. I think that's how it is. Also, I do want to let you... I, do want to note here let me look at the side right here yeah it's kind of like um i think on this side i mm, uh so can i looking at it i think they seem more accurate most of the printing is good so you got the jet blue tiles right there this one's the ng and this one's the panda so i think the jet blue tiles are printed very nicely the billboard tiles in this case as for the engines so as you can see by the engines let me try running down my pencil both engines do have nice ground clearance, but I think the Panda version has more leveled engines than the NG. Don't get me wrong, I think NG did a nice job on the Neo engines. They're not as big as compared to Gemini jets, 
But there are some engines that are kind of like slanted, like slanted, like similar to like what Gemini does. But it's not to the point where it's like rocket ship. This one appears to have okay ground ground clearance on that one. Looking at the winglets, I think the winglets are also pretty good. No need, like no need for the explanation. So I got the winglets right there. Overall, it's very good. Here's the front section. Well, before I move on to the front section, here's the back section of the aircraft. So you got your ray dome right there. So this would be the ray dome for the Panda version. It's gray, which I'm qu quite surprised to find out. So this is a gray Wi-Fi dome. While as for the NG, it's like white, which is more accurate. Of course, the antennas are printed nicely, but when I look at the Panda version, this antenna appears to be facing like that. So I don't think that should be like that for the Panda version. While as for the NG, it's more accurate. It's pointing like that. So yeah, that's kind of like a downfall for like the Panda mold right there. I think the wing also have a bit, like the wings also have a very nice printing design right there. So you can see here's the wing. So of course, yeah, I think there's, I think there's like more detail on like the NG. You can see more, uh, like the other details more clearly on the NG version, which I think it's a very nice touch to the NG models mold. And now moving on to the back section. Now let me zoom in again. Alright, so you got the back section right there, you got your emergency exit doors right there. And of course, I think they put in the US flag and the registration very nice as well. The aircraft registration, November 4022 Juliet, of course, both printed on both areas of the aircraft. Now we get into the tail, so here's the APU and horizontal stabilizers. The L2 warning doors, well the L2 doors are also printed as well, so that's also a nice addition. Now we get into the tail. Now, looking at the tail, I think this tail, the NG version, appears more saturated than the Panda version. I think there's a lot more blue. I think the blue right here on the Panda version is like a sky blue. This has a more accurate design to like the streamer's tail. So as you can see right there. Overall, I think the NG version, in terms of like getting the colors on the streamer's tail, I think I would say I had to give it to NG models. Also, I think both molds, the A61 molds, they both appear to be leveled. So here's the tail of the NG and they're about the same height. So that's a plus sign right there. Moving on to some front detail. So here's the front details for both planes. So let's start off with the JetBlue one, the Panda version. I think there's a lot, there could be a lot more details to the Panda version than the NG. Well, kind of. I think I seen some a little bit of detail but I think the cockpit window printing is also nice uh, there apparently is like a crooked apparently this mall dig came broken so you can see why there's like a tilt of this landing gear right here so yeah I got this mall from Mass Unboxing 5 and yeah quite unfortunate that this mall came broken now moving on to the NG version let me just set her aside right there there we go so here's the NG version hang on let me like there we go. I think the cockpit windows are also good. You got some windshield wiper details right there. The engines are also well detailed as well. And of course, nothing to really talk about the front section. So both front sections of the model are good. All right, so moving on to the top sections of both planes. So here's the top section for the Panda version. Overall, I think there's some very nice details. You got the beacon light right there. And you got some other details right there. Moving on to the NG. I think NG also has nice details as well. However, I think there's a lot more detail on the NG version than the Panda version. As you can see, they also added these gray things, which I think this is a nice addition to the NG version. Moving on to the bottom section. Here's the bottom section. I think the blue is somewhat okay. It kind of looks, appears dark on my camera, but I think the blue looks very nice. Here's the landing gears, if you guys are wondering. So this is the landing gears right there. Very interesting design. And yeah, kind of like hard to see, but there's some nice detail on the Panda version. Moving on to the bottom section for the NG, kind of like similar, and yeah, nothing really to talk about for the bottom section other than, yeah, I think the detailing on the bottom section is pretty much the same. Moving on to the back section, since I already did the front, well here, let me do another front section of the aircraft, so here's the front section. Of course, there's that starboard wing, which apparently it came broken when I unboxed it the first time, so that's unfortunate, but under that, there's some nice details. The landing gear is also good. Here's the front section for the NG version. Oops. So here's the front section right there. 
The landing gear kind of appears slimmer on the NG version, but other than that, I think the wings are good, ground flex are similar. And yeah, very nice for the NG. And here's the back section for the Panda version. Yeah, so here is like, they have some very nice leveled horizontal stabilizers right there. Accurate horizontal stabilizers, as well as the NG version. So let me pull her like that. There we go. So here's the back section. Both are looking very nice. So yeah. That's all for like the models. Now I do want to give you like a history on like technically not really a history but a bit more background information on both of these models right here. So yeah overall I think both of these models are very nice and yeah I think Panda and NG version did a like Panda models and NG models did a nice job on this model right here and yeah but most likely I think I would rather prefer the NG version since I think NG is like just more superior but other than that these models are very nice. And yeah, let's talk about all these models in detail, like in further detail. So let's start off with the Panda version first. So from what I can recall, the Panda version was a Waffle Collectibles exclusive that I got. And I got this model last year and I boxed this model in Mass Unboxing 5. I think it was in and out that it was like, not sure when this model was like came out. I think it was somewhere around March, April, or May of 2022 is when this model came out. So let me know in the comments if you guys know. But yeah, it's a very interesting model. I think this was the first one for 100 model. Well, technically, I would say maybe the second because like I know Gemini Jets did one already. I'm not sure. Wait, was it back in May 2022? I think it was somewhere in May 2022 is when Gemini Jets did this. But Panda Models has their take on it and it was a Waffle Collectibles exclusive. Unfortunately, this model arrived broken when I unboxed it. The starboard wing did came loose, like I tried to pull it and then it just came loose. So unfortunate for like the panda, like the panda model's quality control isn't really that good to be honest. But yeah, that's on another story. But all I can say, this model is okay. I think the model, yeah, it's okay. I think panda models did a nice job and yeah, really glad to have this. Of course, I think I have a favor for the NG version since I'm going to be replacing this model with the NG version since I have it. But other than that, it's an okay model and yeah, she served well for my collection and yeah, she's going to be going to another collector soon. So yeah, a very nice model from Panda Malls. And yeah, I think it was around July or August is when, well, June or July maybe. But other than that, it's a nice model from Panda Malls minus the quality controls. And yeah, it's a very nice model they did. But yeah, that is the Panda A321 Neo JetBlue Streamers. And now let's move on to the NG version. Now as for the NG version, this model is somewhat new. This model came out on NG Mall's February 2023 releases along with that JetBlue Ribbons tail. And yeah, it's a very nice model. Of course, NG has like a great history. Well, quite of a rough start to their new A321 Neo mold, but in the past releases, they start this like starting to improve on their AC21 Neo mold. One of them is like being the engine fan blade details. There was a ring before that, but they managed to fix that, and it looks more accurate. So I don't think I need to like further exp like explain this too much. Other than it's a new model from NG Models. This model is like uh, it's younger than the Panda version because the Panda version came out in 2022. This model came out in 2023. So NG Models doing their take on Gemini Jets and Panda Models. And honestly, I think the NG version is a lot better because like it has like a very nice, the mold of the NG version is very nice. And I think the colors are very well saturated on this model right here. But yeah, I don't think I need to further explain this too much. Other than that, it's just the same livery, but it just came out on February 2023 from NG Models. And I already did like a release reaction on that already. And yeah, a very nice model. Also, I do want to mention, I forgot to mention about this, but when I take the Panda version, the landing gear doesn't really roll on the Panda version, while it's for the NG, it rolls freely. So that's one minor like drawback for the Panda version compared to the NG. But other than that, I think the NG version is a very nice addition, and yeah, I'm not sure, I think it's already sold out already on NG's website, so hopefully you can get your hands on this soon or from some other retailer, but other than that, the NG version is a very nice model and it's way, honestly, in my opinion, it's better than the Panda version. But other than that, this is a nice addition to the NG Models JetBlue fleet and I'm very glad to have it. So that's it for everything, now let's get into the conclusion. So out of these two models, which one would I prefer? 
Well, to be honest, I think I'm more loyal on NG Mall, so I would rather go for the NG version. Don't get me wrong, I think the Panda version is also good too. There's some minor drawbacks to the Panda version compared to the NG, of course, with that antenna, that antenna that's facing like that, and no rolling landing gear. Of course, quality control problems on the Panda version, whilst for the NG, more accurate, well-saturated colors, and most of the models don't really come broken, so that's a good thing. But other than that, I think, I mean, it's your forte. If you like the Panda version, you like the Panda version, but if you were, like, if you're loyal to NG like me, then you can go for the NG, which, of course, I think the NG models is a lot better because, like, NG, they are next generation model. That's all I'm saying. But other than that, I think both of these models are perfect for my collection. Well, not necessarily perfect, but these two models are perfect to compare, but I think the Panda version has to go out of my collection because I just want, like, it's I'm more favor on this JetBlue AC21 by NG right here. The streamer is by NG models right there. I think. The JetBlue Panda version did serve a well need for my collection, and yeah, she had a great run, and yeah, she's gonna be going away in my collection soon in favor for the NG version right there. So, yeah, Godspeed to my Panda JetBlue AC21 streamers, and hopefully you you find yourself into another collector soon. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this collect. What? Not excuse me. What am I saying? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this comparison video, and yeah, let me know if you like. Yeah, what am I saying right now? Sorry guys, what am I saying? Oh yeah, let me know if you guys want me to do more comparison videos in the future. But other than that, this is a good start. Well, somewhat of a good start. I think it's kind of like similar to all my comparisons I did from the past. But other than that, all these models are, yeah, nice to compare these two models from two different manufacturers. So, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a video like this anytime soon. And make sure to stay tuned for more mall playing comparison videos to come in the near future. So, that's it for today's video. Thank you, thank you guys for watching, excuse me. And I'll see you guys next time. Anyways, good night.